Have you seen how there are more and more low-code tools coming out for developers? I want to give you four reasons why you may want to give them a second look. The first reason is that these newer generation tools actually can work with whatever tech stack you have. There's no re-platform limitation. If you have a Next.js site with React components, you can add drag and drop editing within your Next.js site using your React components. They're often incrementally adoptable and you can just use them where you want and keep coding where you like. One of the main advantages you get is click to make incremental publishes. Because these tools are API driven, you can schedule pages, variations of pages to go live automatically. Or if you need to make a spot edit, you can just click edit a piece of text and publish it and it's live immediately. You don't need to go through code deploys to get new pages or variations or fixes live to your content. Low code also brings collaboration out to your non-development team members. So you can actually comment and tag people and say, hey, does this look right? Or would you like to edit this? That way as a developer, you can focus on complex things like making the components or other hard stuff. And non-developers can drag and drop with those components, make edits themselves, run tests, etc. And for me, one of the most interesting benefits is this actually could be better for performance because legacy tools for things like A-B testing and personalization and stuff like that often do not work within your technology of choice. They work outside of it. So they ask you to add big giant JavaScript files that block the page load and inject content. And that's really bad for performance and it can cause buggy behaviors. But with API driven low code tools, you can actually have those A-B tests or other variations come through your tech stack. So for instance, they're statically pre-generated properly. You don't have to use funky blocking JavaScripts. Not every tool is right for everyone, but I'm curious for you to tell me in the comments if you think low code might be a little bit more ready for prime time, given the way that it's evolved a lot lately.